Hey guys, this is Billy Davidson with Davidson Pressure Wash and Painting here in Hammond, Louisiana. We hope you all are having a great week as we are, and uh, we are just kicking butt and putting, keeping the metal, the pedal to the metal. Today I want to talk about surface cleaner tips. I get a lot of questions about this, and hopefully this will help. Now our equipment may be a little different from your equipment, but the principle and the theory behind it is the same. So this is a 20 inch surface cleaner. Now you could supplement any other surface cleaner for this size, whether you got an 18 inch, 16 inch, or if you're carrying one of the big boys, either a 28 or 30 inch, the principle and theory behind surface cleaning is all the same. So here, Jacob, if you can come in a little tighter and check these tips out, this surface cleaner obviously has two tips. Now we are running an eight gallon per minute machine at 3,500 PSI. So let's repeat that really slowly. At 3,500 PSI, our machine will produce eight gallons per minute. So what does that mean? We are splitting the 3,500 PSI between these two tips. So you're at 1750 now at four gallons per minute each tip. Now, also the other caveat about these tips is the apex of the degree that these tips produce. These right here are probably 15. Now, what I wanna talk about that, if you are doing heavily sawed concrete, these tips would be optimal for that. You would have a 15 degrees. That would be the V spray pattern that comes out. Um, that would be the first number, 15. And then like these tips would be a 04 for four gallons per minute each tip. Now that's heavily soiled old concrete. But let's just say you got some new concrete that's really not that dirty and you don't wanna put that much pressure on it, but you still wanna be able to utilize the, 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 the speed of your surface cleaner. Obviously, if you got on that new concrete with these tips, you would do some damage. No doubt, and that's damage that you don't wanna have to deal with, you don't wanna have to pay for, and um, get a bunch of bad reviews over it as well. So how can we do that? So in our industry, we call this opening up the tips. And the way this works, if we go back to what I previously said, you got 1504s in this surface cleaner because it produces eight gallons a minute. If you had a four gallon per minute machine, you would have a 1502. Now this is optimal for cleaning really heavily sawed mildew concrete. So if we wanted to do some soft washing with our surface cleaner, we would want to change these tips out to a 2507. The seven means we would be allowing 14 gallons per minute to come through these tips each. Obviously our machine only produces eight, so what will that do? There's only under one, one place for the physics to degrade and that would be on the PSI. So instead of producing 1750, you know, at, at 07s in here, you would start to produce somewhere maybe around eight to 900 PSI per tip. So you're about dropping it in half. It's really close to half. Uh, another way we can adjust is our fan pattern. Instead of using a 15 degrees, we would go to a 25. So let's say if we had some new concrete on this particular project, I would spin these surface cleaner tips out. I would drop in a 2507 on each one. And that way we can surface clean some new concrete, which has that really fine finish to it. So again, just to recap, you want to open up your tips if you're doing new concrete maybe close to double the tip size. So if you run a four gallon per minute machine, instead of O2s in your surface cleaner, maybe go to an O3 or an O4, and then open up your tip again by using a 25 degree spray tip instead of a 15. So the numbers that we're looking at, again, is 15 degrees is your spray pattern, and O4 is your gallons per minute. That would produce eight gallons a minute. If you got a four gallon machine, you just do that division there. So anyway, I hope this helps. Another little quick tip, expert tip I wanna tell you about. If Jacob can come in here tighter again, when you lining up these tips, these are a little beat up, so these need to be changed. You definitely wanna line that spray tip up very even with this spray, par, spray bar. That way it gives you optimal cleaning width on your surface cleaner. I have seen some of the guys out there that has these tips a little bit turned, maybe at one o'clock, you know, to seven o'clock instead of at 12 to six. So make sure they are straight up and down, 12 to six. Same thing on this sur surface cleaner tip as well. Straight up and down even. If they are cocked sideways and any degrees variation, you're gonna cause yourself a little bit more hassle in trying to clean. 
Also, want to spin this around real quick. If you're getting a new surface cleaner or if you're in a market of a new surface cleaner, I want to make sure that you're looking for one with an alamite fitting in it. This would allow you to put some grease in it, a grease fitting. Uh, basically, about every 10 to 12 hours, you want to regrease this. You got to remember these things are cleaning dirt, sand, and soil, so they take a lot of abuse. So, you know, this wasn't cheap. It was three or four hundred dollars. We love this surface cleaner. It makes us a lot of money for our family. So we're going to treat it like we care about it. We're going to clean this thing up every time we go to use it. Rinse it off with a water hose. Grease this alumite about every 12 to 15 hours, and also rinse off the bottom of it very well. I see a lot of guys, they do their surface cleaner and they throw this in the back of the truck. Hey, is this what you want to do, do it. But what I would like to say is, you know, rinse off all that sand and dirt, get that silica out of it and take care of it. So anyway, if y'all need any help personally, my name is Billy Davison. I'm the owner of Davison Pressure Washer Painting. I can be reached at 985-345-0778. Thank you.